Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to solve some percent related problems. First of all, I have here a set of three problems that involve a shirt and a discount. So let's look at these carefully. First of all, in the first one, it asks for the discount percent. In the next one, it is asking for the discount price and here for the original price. And I hope you remember from the last lesson this little formula that you have a part over total, that's a fraction. Part divided by total, that's a fraction. Then, then that you can write as a percent. So thinking of that formula, part over total, here I have that exact situation. I know the total price is $14 and part of that is two dollars and what is the discount percent the two dollars is part of the fourteen dollars and two over fourteen is the fraction that i need to change into a percent it is simply two over fourteen which is one seventh and then that you divide you put it into your calculator one divided by seven and you will get the decimal number zero point one four two eight Five, seven, and it continues so let's round it and if it was 0 0.14 it would be 14 percent but it is all these decimals let's round it to the nearest tenth of a percent include this two except it gets rounded up to three 14.3 percent is the discount percent now here the shirt is discounted by 20 percent what is the discount price I usually solve this kind of a problem using mental math Calculating first 10%. Okay, 10% is easy always to calculate. You divide that by 10, so that's $1.40. And 20% is double that, $2.80. And so it's discounted, so we subtract that much from the price and we get $14 minus $2.80, which is eleven dollars twenty okay but I'll show you another way as well and that is that if it is discounted by twenty percent then eighty percent of the price is left eighty percent of fourteen dollars so eighty eighty percent of fourteen dollars you see the word of there again this translates into multiplication 0 0.8 times 14. So that's the other way to solve this problem. And of course, you would get the same answer. $11.20. A shirt was discounted by $3, and that was a 15% discount. So how much is the original price? Now, here's one way to solve this. $3 corresponds to 15%. I could then find 1%, and then 100%. But in this case, it is easier to first find, okay, if $3 is 15%, then how much would be 5%? It would be just one-third of that, or $1, right? And if $1 is 5% of the price, then how much is 100% of the price? That's a 20-fold multiplication here, so it will be $20. Easy, right? And here's another way. And that has to do with the fact that 15% of what is that $3? 15% of the original price, right, is $3. You see, this is like an equation here. This is the equal sign, okay? And then 15% is, of course, a decimal number. Of is the times. The original price is my unknown, my x. Okay. So 0 0.15 times, I shouldn't use this kind of, a, just put like that. 0 0.15 times x equals $3. And then this simple equation is solved by dividing both sides by 0 0.15. So x equals $3 divided by 0 0.15. And that would be the same answer, of course, $20. Here, original price is $121 and it is increased. What's the new price? 
Okay. Basically, we need to calculate 5.2% of this original price and then add that to $121. So basically, this is what we need to calculate. 5.2% of the original price, which is 121. And then whatever that is, okay, we need to add that or add to it, either way, the original price. I always calculate this kind of thingy thinking that the original price is 100% of the price. When we increase it by that, then we just simply calculate 105.2% of the price. We just calculate 105.2% of this amount. And of course, again here, I'll change this into a decimal. It is 1.052 and times $121. And this is 127.292, which you would need to round to the nearest cent, so 29 cents here.